morning and welcome to part two of my Maleficent costume transformation. So this video I'm going to do the makeup. So bear with me, I don't wear makeup and I'm a little bit inexperienced with it. So I'm just gonna try my best, thank you. Now if you want to know how to put on makeup, visit my sister's channel, Tina Delgado. I'll put her link in the description box. She has so many videos. She's so great at putting on makeup. Any question that you have about makeup, visit her channel and she will explain everything. She even has so many products, so she does a lot of makeup product reviews as well, so visit her channel. So I'm just gonna get started. So I bought some foundation for the first time in my life. <laughs> CoverGirl Clean Liquid Foundation. So I'm gonna use this first. If you know what, my son is being my helper. My zombie, zombie baby. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. So I'm just gonna pour it on my finger, I guess. Now I don't have the brushes that people normally have with makeup. Is this thing gonna come out? I just have my fingers and imagination. Oh wow, is liquid makeup this thick? I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh, are you supposed to get this out? It's like a, maybe it's like a barrier. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna have to use this on my brush, my paint brush and just scoop it out like that. It smells like, what do you call that? Um, what's that smell? Like, when I was young, uh, it's like on the tip of my, t my nose. Mm, what is that smell? Um, some type of med medicine. Like if you get calamine lotion, that's what it smells like. It smells like calamine lotion. So I'm just gonna put this all around. I need light. I can't see. I guess that's a little better. Okay, that's much better. I couldn't see anything. Okay. Okay, so I put on the foundation. Let me put on a little bit more along my neckline. So I don't want to use too much. So this CoverGirl foundation is like water-based. Natural lightweight coverage that feels and looks fresh. Won't clog pores. So I'm put a little bit here. I'm putting some on my neck so I don't have that line from that breaks from here to there. So just a little bit. You would think I would know how to do makeup because I used to be a model. I have a lot of neck. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a little bit darker than my skin tone, but I'm gonna make the most of it. Okay. If only I had my sister to do my makeup, that would be awesome. But you know, coronavirus. So I put on the foundation and I guess I could put on some of this proactive solution. I've had this for like 15 years, I don't know. It's just a, a little powder that I use. I used to have really, really bad acne. And when I was modeling, I was trying to learn how to put on my own makeup. And so I would buy this. So 
I'm just going to smooth it out really fast because I don't want too much on here. Just to make it shine. So I bought this so I can learn how to do my own makeup, but that didn't work. Okay. Now I'm going to, as they say, contour my cheekbones because and um, Maleficent has those high cheekbones there. And I was gonna buy prosthetics, but I decided against it because I didn't wanna spend that much time putting on prosthetics. I'm trying to make, I'm trying to do my transformation as quick as possible because I, we have, I have a lot of games. I want to play Halloween games. I want to play with the kids and my husband. And I don't want to spend our morning putting on makeup. I don't really like wearing makeup. So I'm using this palette. I don't know the name of it because it's gone. I've had it for that long. I just, I just buy it. like it's all gone. I don't know where it's from. So I just use it and I'm gonna use this brown one right here. This brown one. I'm just gonna make a line going up that way. Try to all the way up to my earline. Try to contour out this neckline. Drop them. Hey. No, it's just sit down. Don't drop them. Now I'm gonna bring it a little bit down because she has that little definition down by her mouth. Then I'm going to use this silver color. And bring it on top for a little bit of highlights. So as you can see, makeup artists out there, please be, please be gentle. <laughs> I am not a professional and I do not do this on a daily basis. I tip my hat off to all my wonderful ladies and men out there who do this every day because I have I can do my hair for hours, hours. I'll just sit here and just do my hair. But makeup, I don't have the patience for. Just going a little bit down that way. I hope this turns out alright. I don't know. Then she always has the little highlights up here. So I'll do that. Put a little brown to contour the nose. This looks so weird. And then I guess a little light up the tip. <laughs> this looks so weird, I don't know. So I'm gonna try my best to blend. I'm gonna try different ways to blend it in. I don't have a makeup brush to blend, so I have my arts and crafts brush. <laughs> if this doesn't work, then I have my cotton ball. If that doesn't work, then I have my finger so. You're you're just you're exploring with me, so let's see what we can do. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Then I'm going to put some frosting around the eye tips. No, oh, I want to do it. I'm going to use this color right here. Now the only time I do wear makeup is on Halloween when I do my costumes and for Christmas party at work. I'm 
going to put a little bit brown underneath. Just that brown look. Then I'm going to add the brown to my lips. Ouch. Maybe I'm poking too hard, but this is uncomfortable. I feel like I'm poking my eyeball. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. And now I'm going to add the mascara. So this is how I do the mascara. I, I don't like seeing mascara where it's all clumpy and clogged up and stuff like that. So what I do is I have the regular mascara and a blank one. Then you get these for free like for four or something. And then I put on the mascara. And then I put a little water on here and I go back over to separate it and I just twist it. And it shows really nice and it's separated. And if you can see the difference from this one to that one I haven't done yet, this one is like more separated and it doesn't, you don't see those chunks in there of mascara compared to the one that's not in it. Okay, I did the other eye. Now the eyeliner, oh no, this is dried up. Sounds about right. I'm trying to use a little bit at the end there since it's like all dried up. Okay, so I put on the, the liquid eyeliner. And I did a little bit on my eyebrows. I don't do like the whole shading in. So before I do my lips, I have to put in my thing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I talk funny, but I put in my things and I have put on my nails. Now I'm ready to do my lips. So, that's so weird talking like this. I'm going to put on this lip stain. I don't know the name of it. I've had it for so many, so long. My son's little fingers. <laughs> Camera. No, uh. So I'm gonna try to make it as red as I can because. Because Angelina, well, Maleficent has very red lips. The reason why I'm putting on the lip stain is so when I eat or whatever, you can still see the lip color. So this is just was part of a um, a Halloween makeup kit. I'm gonna finish it off with this clear polish, clear um, lip gloss. So, and there's my lips. So, um, stay tuned for video number three, the last part where I put all of this together. I take down my hair and I put on my wings and my costume. Thanks so much for watching my video and this stick on my teeth I'll fix it <laughs> don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye